Hello, hello folks, this is me, the Trash Man here. Um, today we are going to be talking about your favorite weapon that you voted on, so you better be happy that you've caused me this much. Uh, the Liberty Launcher. Now, Liberty Launcher, I've already teased that this weapon does not have my great graces. <laughs> but, and far from that, to be honest. Um, a lot of people, I've seen quite a few people recently who've been defending this weapon, and I can't have nothing but just baffling thoughts for it now i do get some parts like i do agree that having an extra clip size is good it uh with the liberty launcher if you don't get what i'm saying the liberty launcher has five rockets instead of four which is the stock standard for uh for those so it's actually pretty good uh for in terms of having you know reliable reliable ways of having more ammo stuff like that because usually you have a, either an extra clip to get away from stuff like that so it is a very good upside i do think man yeah, no, it on, on paper definitely seems like a weapon that i feel like would be definitely loved by the community maybe hated by some but like uh there's there's just i think there's just really one stat holding this weapon so far back and i'm gonna get into that later but i do want to talk about the last upside which is that it has a faster firing speed which actually does come in quite in handy against pyros pyro mains uh and also you have the upside of having less rocket jump damage which on paper seems like oh man i'm gonna be absolutely going all over the place but guess what it it does it barely does anything 15 percent from my experience barely does anything to nudge yourself into having extra rocket jumps maybe one rocket jump more at most maybe two but it's it's not really useful since rocket jumps without the gunboats with that thing are still gonna do like 30 35 ish damage unless you're getting the super you know far spaced out one which after that you're probably not going to get any height which sucks um and no it, it's definitely a stat that i think is overstated in terms of the weapons balancing um but for the most part it is it is quite it is quite a decent upside at the very least because you might be able to have more health when you go into a fight but even then you could probably just use the other rocket launchers and maybe grab a health kit after you rocket jump, to be honest. But yeah, no, um, I, I do want to talk about its positives first, because there is a few. There is quite a bit of a thing here. There is there is a weapon built up here. Um, but yeah, I will get into it. I, I just want to stay state that I did have some fun near the ending of this. Um, and that is, I actually think this weapon's great on King of the Hill. And that may sound shocking to you. But I think it's great on defense. I actually do think it's amazing on defense. Maybe not amazing. Sorry, I just dropped my mic there. But uh, maybe not amazing. But uh, definitely very good. And and why I think it's very strong on defense is that on defense, uh, having an extra rocket in, in your clip, usually whenever you're attacking, whenever you're attacking in TF2 on the attacking defense, like stuff like that uh you're supposed to be kind of just pushing forward having bigger damage numbers coming out than your opponent for that, that are defending but with defense it's more of just about being able to put out you know put out at least decent damage but also being able to just hold back enemies or like scare them off and i actually think the the liberty launcher really helps and that's where i think that the extra clip size really helps it's very useful I, I've seen the, just kind of the power of it because usually people will usually people are pretty afraid to get in front of a rocket launcher, to be honest. I don't see many people that are lining up to get in front of a rocket launcher. And having an extra clip in your mag seems just kind of like a bonus for you because you get to hold off enemies a bit longer than, you know, actually normal. And also it's just kind of just a bonus. I mean, especially if you just got a medic who's kind of backing you up, you can stay in the fight longer or stay in the defense longer and you're just able to just kind of kind of float there May being kind of a sponge you don't do much damage to the enemies but you do annoy them enough to where they're afraid of coming near you which i think is actually a very good upside and i do think that the i do think that as unconsequential as the regular you know minus 15 percent rocket jump damage is i do think it does have its uses like i said you can have an extra rocket jump you can get to combat actually with more health than you maybe would with stock and I do think that is a merit. Um, but I do want to say I am about to get into absolute torture of my experience with this weapon. Because this weapon just... It, it, its downsides are terrible. It has a downside of 25% less damage. 
And if that doesn't seem like a lot to you, then maybe you're, you know, not noting, noticing the situation here. 25% less damage is a fourth of your damage with a regular rocket launcher. You are going to be doing a four, like a th th three fourths of your damage. And it really shows because a lot of times I find myself struggling just to kill a scout or a spy. Like I've taken three shots to kill a spy up close and it's so annoying. That one downside kills the weapon. And you know what's annoying? The one upside that it has, which is the extra magazine size, it doesn't make up for it in the terms of literally just play the airstrike. And you may be saying that's harsh of me to say, but think about it. The airstrike has 15% damage penalty. And guess what? That weapon has a unique mechanic where whenever you get a kill, if you get one kill, it's literally a direct upgrade to the Liberty Launcher. And it just feels like with the Liberty Launcher, they just put it way too hard, man. That thing cannot kill for anything. It feels like I'm just, I'm just like throwing my feelings at someone. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, I don't want to make this too long, but like he, you, you have so many instances where you just can't kill anyone. Like whenever you see a heavy, no, you better get out of there. Whenever you see a soldier, no, I got to get out of here. Whenever you see a pyro eh, maybe but like most likely I got to get out of here. But like any class that's like a hundred, you know, like above a scout's level, you are probably going to lose against most likely, unless you're just kind of backing away. But it's kind of just annoying because I just have so much, I just, I, it, it's a weapon that just seems like with one, like a slightly lower damage penalty could be a great addition to the game. But it's just held back so far by, by completely being killed by having like, what is it? Only being able to like barely do a scratch of damage to like the nearby scout who's annoying you. And also, it just makes killing sentry guns, which, by the way, I, that's a whole different thing. But killing sentry guns is the worst. Killing sentry guns is impossible. You literally have to ask your 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 freaking demo man or your direct hit soldier buddy, "Hey man, can you get this? Can you get this man? Because I have nothing I can do." It's annoying, but like I said, it is kind of a fun weapon on defense. On offense, never use it. Never use it. But yeah, please at least try it on defense or King of the Hill. It's actually kind of fun. Anyway, I do want to end this off saying it's a okay weapon. It's probably Soldier's worst primary. Maybe even his second worst weapon behind the Pompson. But yeah, um, I have the freaking Pompson, the Righteous Bison. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching. I know this was a short one, and I know it's not as... I don't think it's as good as the other ones. It's, I actually really am passionate about the uh, Beggar's Bazooka. This one, maybe I'll do a follow-up on. Um, but yeah, you know, I hope you all have a great day. Uh, and I know this has been kind of a weirder, shorter thing, but uh, I, I hope y'all see. I hope I see you later. Please subscribe if you want more, and goodbye.